Yo, what's up everybody? Today, I'm out here in the morning, early May, or March, freezing my buns off. I wanted to talk to my subscribers. I'll do anything for you guys about something that I've recently learned uh, about a relatively common plant uh, that you see in the Northeast is the rhododendron. And a lot of people will get these because they're, they're a broadleaf evergreen. They don't drop their leaves in the winter. Kind of gives you something to look at when everything else looks dead. Um, and then in the spring, they have these awesome, awesome flowers. So just a really cool, you know, shrub. And um, but I've noticed in the winter time, especially in the mornings, that the leaves, I'm going to kind of get close to one here. The leaves, they kind of curl up. Oh, that wind. Good Lord, that winter wind is the worst. I really hate the winter. <laughs> I really hate it out here right now. I need the spring to come. Uh, anyway, the leaves, see how they're kind of curled up and they're drooping, they're kind of pointing towards the ground. That's not how they normally look. But in the wintertime, I'm assuming below freezing, they do this. And I and I, I looked it up recently. I wanted to know why the heck they do that. So <clears throat> I'm about to mispronounce this word. You know me, I'm the king of mispronouncing things. This, um, this thing that they're doing is called thermotropism or thermotropism. I'm not sure which is the right way to pronounce it, but there you go. So I will, I'll put that in the description um, so you can look it up. And actually when you look up this word, uh, the definition, a lot of times they use the rhododendron in the winter time uh, as an example, because it's, it's pretty unique. So there's a lot of theories. Oh, anyway, sorry. And so what this is, is the movement of a plant or parts of a plant in response to a change in temperature. So in this case, it responds to cold temperature by curling and drooping towards the ground. So a lot of theories on why they do this. You know, one of the ones that I keep reading over and over again, and it kind of makes sense, is that what they're doing is the leaves are curling and they're drooping because um, they're trying to essentially trying to get away from the sun temporarily. All right. And what the theory is from a cellular level that as it's freezing, it wants to gradually thaw out as the temperature gradually increases. So essentially it doesn't wanna stay flat and upright. So when that, that winter sun comes out, it doesn't wanna thaw out too quickly because it could damage the plant from a cellular level, okay? So what they're doing is they're trying to create less surface area for the sun to contact. And that's, that, that makes sense to me. And you'll, if, if you notice, if you're not familiar with the rhododendron, the leaves, so right now you see how they're curled up and they're drooping to the ground. Normally they're like kind of even with the ground, maybe even raised, and they're they're out. They're kind of flat. And that's to get the most sunlight. All right, and promotes growth. And part of this too, um, I've also heard and read that it's, you know, the, the rhododendron kind of needs this, this freezing period, kind of tells them you know, that they're in dormancy. And I think a lot of plants do that. But then as the, as the daytime temperature raises and raises, the plant knows, let me see if I can zoom in here. So this bud here, that's gonna turn into an awesome flower. Mine has like a pink, like a purplish pink kind of color. I know there's, there's different colors in the rhododendrons, but that's the one I have. And each and every one of these is gonna have an amazing flower. I can't wait to post that video and post pics on my Instagram. But anyway, so that's one of the theories is the, the thawing and the, the freezing and the thawing and the freezing and the re-thawing over and over again. And it just, it wants to kind of stay away from that sun and gradually unthaw or thaw out, I should say. Um, and that's the theory that I, I find the most compelling. So anyway, you know, from a fashion standpoint, if you, if you think you're, if you want to know if it's going to be really cold, just check, you look out your window, man, check out your plants and they'll tell you it's freezing and you can dress heavy that day. So anyway, I hope you like this and, you know, read more about it. Again, I'll put a little description, details in the description um, below and you can kind of read more about it, but there you go. So check out your rhododendron and you know if it's below freezing. All right, check it out.